Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas says this morning that his forces are helping to search for three missing Israeli teenagers. They may have been kidnapped. The teens disappeared on the West Bank nearly a week ago. One carries dual American citizenship. Since they vanished, more than 200 Palestinians have been arrested on the West Bank. Alex Ortiz reports the search is turning into a full-scale military operation. Armed soldiers and checkpoints here are an everyday sight. But for the last six days, these soldiers have been raiding homes and scouring streets for the missing teenagers. Israel claims the three students, one of them a U.S. and Israeli dual citizen, were kidnapped by Hamas last Thursday. In response, Israel has raided Hamas offices and arrested over 200 people. That includes dozens of prisoners released in a 2012 prisoner exchange for the abducted Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit. In addition to these checkpoints, we've seen soldiers randomly stopping cars searching for any sign of the missing teens. The families continue to appeal for the safe release of their children and will later today meet with the Israeli defense minister. Hamas leaders called the security operation criminal, and the wider Palestinian community has described it as collective punishment. Though the Islamist group still hasn't taken responsibility for the kidnapping, Israel has made it clear that beyond finding the missing teens, the ultimate goal of this operation is to crack down further on Hamas. For CBS This Morning, Alex Ortiz, The West Bank.